we didn't do it we're still at hungerford town roll the intro Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Grassroots to Glory. You can see here then, as I mentioned in the intro, we have stayed at Hungerford Town. And you can see from that league table in the bottom left hand corner here, we are absolutely smashing it. 15 points clear of Maidstone in second place right now. The league title could be imminent. We're only in February, but as things stand right now and the amount of fixtures that are left in the season, we're looking very, very good. For a league title and a promotion with Hungerford Town within season two of Grassroots of Glory. So, last time I mentioned, Notch County, what was the decision? We, we didn't get the job. They didn't actually want us, oddly enough, in the end. We interviewed well, as you saw last episode, and I thought, right, it looked promising. And to be fair, they're up at eighth in the league now. They've turned things around now. New manager, Pete Wilde, came in for them. Here he is, Pete. Happy Pete, isn't he? he? looks grateful. Looks grateful for the new job. I mean, he's been absolutely smashing it as a new manager. Besides the one loss here to Barnet and the FA Trophy, they've had quite a bit of a good streak. A lot of wins, only one draw in there. So it's going well for them under the new manager. Congratulations for them. They're going to stay in their division now and probably get maybe playoffs at a push here. They're just outside the playoffs now by one point. So not as County could get a playoffs push now into the Valorant National Playoffs. So fair play to them. I'll give them credit where it's due. But next season, we're going to be there ourselves of Hungerford. If we're still there in the season, who knows? You never know. But in this series, what's going to happen, where you're going, and what we're going to be doing. But yeah, into our recent form. Last time that you saw us was here against Concord. You can see here. We've been a little bit of our own. It's a tricky our own, haven't we? It's a little bit of a streak here. We haven't lost a single game. Last time that you saw us, we beat Concord 3-2 in the league. And since then, an FA Trophy third round victory against Woking. A 2-0 victory. Working have been a fair decent team. National League team in the seventh position as well. So that league above us, beating them, looks good, doesn't it? If you do up next season, who knows? And since then, a 1 1 draw Kingstonian, a game in which probably should have won. And after that one, we've turned it a lot. You can see here, we beat Dorking 2 0, Slough 4 1, Wildstone, the FA Trophy, fourth round 1 0, a Chippenham victory of 2 0, Hemel Hempstead 2 1, and Tombridge. Lowly Tombridge down 19th, got an absolute hiding of 6 1. 6 1, massive result for us. Now, 2 1 victory in the FA Trophy, fifth round as well. So, progressing in the FA Trophy as well. You can see here now, the upcoming round now, quarterfinals are set now. We got Blythe coming up in a few weeks' time. And then, other teams in it Torquay, Halifax. I mean, we do have a very good chance here of going all the way within the FA Trophy. A possible double season, maybe, if we can get this done and the league. Who knows? And I mean, since then as well, Chelmsford 3 2 and St Albans 3 1. We're absolutely flying. We're here today at Abe's Fleet now. I mean, in the next episode could possibly be a cup final end of the season. We have flown through the season a bit faster than last season, but we thought we did so well last season. This season now, we're going to see ourselves get into the next division and get through the next stage. Other things that have been happening as well. We actually got a Continental B license now as well. So Continental B done, but we're training for our Continental A license as well. You see here, like we're looking fairly well rounded now, sort of in Lord of the Plaza isn't great and our reputation isn't amazing yet, but we're still going down there. We're only like a year and a half into the actual save, remember as well. We did our first full season last season with Hungerford, and now we're in season number two, doing very well. Our contract is up at the end of the season. They have offered us a new deal and we haven't actually accepted it yet. Maybe on the premise we can go somewhere else at the end of the season. I'm still keeping my options open if we stay at Hungerford. But I mean, a promotion with them is pretty good. As we mentioned, people said in the comments from the last episode, win that league title, stay here at the end of the season, win the league now. And then again, it adds to that reputation. It looks better for you as a reputation as a manager. So we're going to see what happens in terms of the future. But fairly happy, fairly, fairly happy. And like I said, we've got Ebb's Fleet today. And this is how you line up for this one. You can see all them green lines now. The boys are linking up very, very well. So, Kendrick in net. Evans, Murphy, Bailey and Curry. Evans is our top goal scorer, by the way. He's been playing a mixture of right back and uh, attacking playmaker all this season. He's our top goal scorer. I mean, I know that's good for our strikers, really. They're not up there themselves, but very good overall. Haynes in there. Phillips, Kay. O'Reilly, by the way. We always talk about this kid, how good he's been doing. 
I mean, look at this for a return. 19 appearances, 9 goals, 8 assists, a 7.04 average rating for 45k. At the time, we were like, oh, it's a big risk. It's a big, big risk spending money on a player at this level. But he's been absolutely incredible. What a player he's turned into be. His leadership is 14. Actually, to be fair, we could get him on leadership course. Why not? Future captain for Hungerford at age 16. Why the devil not? What a player he's been out to me so far. Rolton Seeger up front today. Ipswich are sitting fourth in the league right now in terms of their actual recent form. They've, they've lost three in a row. They've lost three in a row. They're still up there. But I mean, it'll be another big victory today and we can keep pushing. I'm just curious, top goal scorers, apart from Evans, who's here, we have no one really up there in terms of like banging in a lot of goals for us. Rolt's up there now. He's down 12 goals this season. Seager and 12 goals. Okay, we've got two strikers up there, but I mean... Considering Danny Mills here is on 33 goals this season at Dulwich Hamlet, who are currently sitting fifth in the league, maybe someone we look for next season when we do go up as champions. Maybe it's something we go for. Age 31 now. I mean, I don't know how good we'll do in the higher division. We'll give him a little scout. Why not? As we go into this match against Ebbs Fleet Town, another three points. Let's just keep pushing and get our league title secured within the coming few games. So it's good form so far this season. It's been absolutely incredible, Hungerford. Like, I never expected to be top of the league. I was thinking we could push top six, maybe, trying to get the playoffs this season. But we've been in absolutely impeccable form. We're absolutely flying. The boys are absolutely flying. We're loving life. We're absolutely loving life here, Hungerford. I mean, that temptation was there to move club. It was very much there for Notts County to go to a higher division. It looks better on our CV. Extra pay as well as me as a manager, getting the extra bit of money in there. We meant... It would have been good, wouldn't it? I mean, it's been a quiet first half here. Half hour in. No highlights at all yet. We've had two chances ourselves. Nothing to show of it. It could be a complete first half here. Of absolutely no highlights what looks of it here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be that. Wow. Exciting. League champion. Potential league champions here. Who would have thought it? The most exciting air football you're probably ever going to see. Within an FM series. I mean, there's been, there's been nothing, hasn't there? There's been absolutely no chances at all here. Yeah. Mental. Right, we're going we're gonna to encourage the boys. Let's go and have a look. What's the problem, boys? What's happening? I mean, everyone's still fairly fit. In defence, 7.10, 7.0 for the defenders. But, I mean, there's nothing happening this end. The pitch is there. Overall, on 6.4. 6.3 for Seager as well, front. Let's get him off. Let's get Jeffers in there. See if he can be the money maker for us. Why not? Gotta be better in front of goal. That's exactly it. The assistant's right. We've got to be doing better in front of goal. We need to try and get some shots on target. Just have a highlight, lads. That that'd be even better. Just at least one highlight. Nothing so far. Jeffers comes in up front now. Hopefully he can turn things around for us. Get us a goal. As we hit the 55 minute mark, and again, nothing's happening. Oh, a first chance, a first highlight of the game. Finally, in our favour now. Evans, puts it forward to Haynes. Bailey, Murphy, a little play from Hungerford here. Has Haynes now. Back to Phillips. O'Reilly. Evans. I mean, he's entered our right back and he's there again. Evans. We can be saying this. Like, there's a reason in our top goal scorer. At right back, he's always up there going for it. Now, Evans with the corner. That big ball in. Cleared out. Only as far as Jeffers now. Hopefully, get back in the mixer. Haynes, Bailey. Good play from Hungerford here. Hopefully, get an opening goal here, surely. It's Evans. Find Jeffers. Back hill. O'Reilly. Jeffers. He goes down the box. It's going to be a penalty. Jake Evans, our top goal scorer, will step up for this one. Evans to make it 1 0 for Hungerford Town here. Surely so. Evans steps up. Slots at home with these. As always, there's a reason he's our top goal scorer. Winning penalties and scoring penalties has been key from this season. I'm actually interested, though. I wonder if we can give a quick pause here. How many penalties has he had this season? Oh, Jake Evans. Is there a way of seeing within the actual goals? There's no way of actually checking, is there? If you know in the comments of a way how you can check how many of these goals have been penalties this season, let us know down below. Let me know down below how many goals you reckon he's this season. I mean, 16 assists as well. Absolutely unreal season for Jake Evans. I would be curious to see how many of them actually have been penalties. So let me know down below. If you do know how to do that. As Evans now with the throw. He finds Jeffers. Lovely little back heel. Evans flicks it back into the box now. Phelps. Curry. Come find Jeffers. It's Evans again though, man. The main man, Evans. What a season. He signed a new deal recently as well with Hungerford. Finally to keep this boy around. He was up at the end of this season. It's Rolt now. Through in goal. Out to Evans. Jeffers. O'Reilly in some great play against... 
Oof, I wonder if there's going to be another penalty then. It was very close to being another penalty then for Hungerford Town, but they get away with it. It's absolutely now. Redmond with the big cross in. It's in the box, and Jay Williams has actually equalised here on the 64 minute mark. 1 1. Our winning streak could be over here. We could be worried here. We look at a great header back in. Williams just taps it away. I don't know what the keeper's doing there. Kendrick just. He's just, just flapping arms everywhere, isn't he? Absolutely flapping arms everywhere. Do some more changes here. Just over 20 minutes to go. And you see here, Haynes is a bit tired now. Perhaps we could do something here. I'm just thinking we can actually drop in there. Getting it much of a defensive option, though, is he really in that role? Saying that Evans could probably jump in, though, there instead. And then we'll put Hunter on that right back role, maybe. That could be the way forward instead. Evans could probably be a role in that CDM. I know he's not his main position, but I mean, he can play everywhere else. Unconvincing. I mean, hopefully he can prove to me today he's a bit more than unconvincing there. As we look to try and get a winner here. I'm just thinking, we're going to get Magori on for a ride as well. We haven't seen much of a ride today. He's still a young lad. He's had a good season. Let's not put too much pressure on his shoulders. At such a young age. Get Magori in there for a bit. As we're going to demand more for the boys now. Come on. 15 minutes to go. We're pushing for the league title. Let's win this one as well. Big flick on. And surely that's going to be Evans with ease there. Back to Kendrick now. He finds Luca Murphy. Huge ball four for Murphy. It's Jeff first into Rolls. Good play here from Hungerford. Phelps out wide to Curry. Loads of room for Curry here to run into. He's got past his man. Crossing the box. He can't find Jeffers. Curry again, though. Magori. Jeffers. Oh, tactical genius. I mean, we've just put Magori on. He gets the assist straight away. For the other substitution, Jeffers, who came on earlier on this match. The two substitutes linking up here. It was a good headed clearance here, but only as far as Curry is. Magori gets it. Flicks it back across goal as Jeffers heads it home. Hungerford 2, Ebbs Fleet 1. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Great play from the boys. Magori's right up to 7.3 now. Jeff is 7.7. There's going to be a corner now. Corner? It's a free kick. It's a free kick. Evans. Murphy always missed it. Should have been free. A chance to make it 3-1. You can see some tired legs out there now. No changes left for the boys. We've got to try and hold on now for the last few minutes. But we have dominated this game. You can see here. An XG of 2.71, 17 shots. Only seven on target. Not great, but a full time. It's another Hungerford Town victory. Beating Ebsley and keeping our top of the table dominance. Dominance is the correct word for this right now for Hungerford. As we look, you've got an achievement as well to pop down here. You're on fire. An achievement popping up in the background there. 88 points now. Ahead of Mainstone, 73. I heard the curse right the way. You can see it there now. We are absolutely ramping in this league right now. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Notts County, we're sorry we didn't take your job. I mean, you, you didn't offer it to us in the end. But you know what I mean? We're happy or hunger, but we're going to win the league title. It's happening. Next episode will be our final game of the season with Hungerford Town. And we'll see whether or not we win the league title. We might even have a cup. You never know. We might even have the FA Trophy final to play to. So we update it all next episode. We'll see you there. And as always, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, enjoying the series so far, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments about that penalty inquiry I made earlier in the video. Let me down below. If you know how to do that, let me know. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you next time for some more Grassroots to Glory.